Hello everyone! It's been a hot minute simula nung huli nating trying yung makeup video. Kaya today, ayun yung gawin natin. We have quite a few as you guys can see and just an FYI nga pala, majority if not all of these products are basically new to me, not necessarily yung bago sa market. And some of these na-test ko na, specifically yung foundation, so basically parang all of these lang is yung mga bago sa channel ko, mga hindi ko pa na ipapakita. And yeah, yun lang guys, basically today we're just gonna enjoy, magpa-play lang tayo with makeup, just gonna go with the flow and let's see kung ano yung kakalabasan. <laughs> Diretso na tayo sa primer and yung gagamitin ko today is from Get Ready With Me. And yung gamitin natin is yung hindi ko nagamit sa nakaraang video which is itong gripping and long-lasting life-proof primer. Kuha lang muna tayo ng saktong amount. Ayan. Ah, tumula! Of course, imamasage ko lang sa aking face. Sobrang usong-uso ng gripping primers. So, if you're looking for something na bago, you might want to check this one out. But just an FYI, this is not as gripping as the Hydro Grip, which I actually own. Ito. I mean, hindi siya ganong kataki. But hopefully in the future, gumawa sila ng bagong version or kaya update nila. I mean, ayan, taki naman siya. Look at that. If you guys are familiar dun sa Vice na parang gripping primer din, I think dun malapit yung Kami. Pero yung sa e.l.f. guys, hindi ko may compare because hindi ko pa yun nasusubukan. And by the way, this one nga pala, if I'm not mistaken, parang pang 5th or 6th time kong gamitin today. And it's really good. It does the job. It grips the foundation. But again, I hope in the future gawin pang mas gripping kasi I feel like mas better siya if like that. For foundation, we're using NARS Light Reflecting. Na itong shade na hawa ko is Fiji, which is a little bit warm for my skin. Because of that, I decided na bumili pa ng isa. But just in case gusto nyo malaman ko ano yung shade ko talaga dito, that is Dayvil. Meron ako nung kanilang... Wait, kuhin ko. Itong Natural Radiant. Bumili ako. Ayan, ito po yung shade ko. But actually, yung reason ko bakit naging dalawa to is because yung isa bigay sa akin ng Lazada and sobrang nagustuhan ko siya. But unfortunately, a little bit warm, which is yung Fiji. Kaya ayun, gumastos ako and bumili ng isang shade na lighter that way. Ipagmix ko na lang rather than getting yung perfect shade ko because I feel like sayang naman. Pati yun nga, mas okay na yung ano, di ba? Magkaibang shade that way ma-manage ko talaga yung shade. Or yung pag-mix, match nilang dalawa. Kamusta naman nga pala kayo? Kuha lang tayo two pumps nitong Fiji. One pump ni Gobi. Mix lang natin together. Actually, meron naman ako ng shade shifter ni May na pwede kong gamitin, but gumastos na ako, be. So, diba? Ayusin na natin to. By the way, this one ilang beses ko na nasusuot. Kapag ka gumagawa ako ng TikTok videos, usually ito yung foundation ko. Really love the formula. It's definitely worth every single peso. Just make sure na makuha nyo yung perfect shade kasi di ba nga pricey. And I also have a wear test nito guys. Meron akong clips ng foundation so after natin mamaya or after ko siguro mag-foundation, ipa-flash ko na lang sa screen kung ano yung itsura ng foundation after some hours of wearing. Layer ko lang kasi gusto ko ng ano ngayon. Medyo magandang coverage. Kasi nga diba, ang tagal ko lang hindi nag-makeup na ang ganito sa video. I don't know, na-miss ko kasi yung mga ano eh, long form na makeup content. At saka yung mga glam makeup look, I really miss doing it. Kasi diba sa TikTok lagi na lang fresh, ganun. No makeup makeup, which is not bad naman, but you know. Look at the foundation, diba? So, ang ganda ng finish niya. In terms of feeling, this one actually reminds me of the Get Ready With Me foundation. So, if you love that for sure, magugustuhan niya to. It's lightweight, medium coverage, thin. May konting glow siyang binibigay but it doesn't look oily. And sobrang ganda niya sa picture guys. Ang flawless, I swear. Again, nagamit ko na nga tong foundation na to multiple times. And if i-flash ko na lang sa screen yung itsura ng foundation after around, I believe, 4 hours or 3 hours. Again, the good thing is that it doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look super duper oily. Another thing I love about this foundation is that mapa picture man or personal ang ganda ng finish. And by the way, tip nga lang pala, if you're planning to purchase any NARS foundation, i-check nyo yung strawberry.net sa Shopee. Sobrang dalas nila mag-sale. Kaya if you want to save some money, i-check nyo yun. Ito yung concealer na susubukan natin today. And this one is from Squad, which is called the, I believe, Conceal It? Tama. Conceal It Concealer. I have three shades for this. And tingnan natin kung ano yung perfect shade for me. 199 pesos to, guys. And look, ang laki ng ano niya, ha? 5.6 grams. This is CL1, CL2, and this is CL3. Feeling ko yung CL2 na lang gagamitin ko for my under eye. Even though I feel like hindi siya ganun ka-brightening. But that's okay. I mean, you know, YOLO. Actually, you know what? Hindi ko carry. So, let's see. I often get questions nga pala sa brushes. So, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box. If you guys are familiar sa The Sem Concealer, parang ganun yung formula niya but slightly thinner. Parang ganun siya but lighter consistency and also coverage not as intense. But look at that. Eh, diba? Ang flawless niyang tignan. And also, hindi siya cakey. Hopefully, you guys can see. But ayan. Look at that. Diba? Hydrating siya. Hindi siya nagkikris pa oh. Hindi siya dry. Of course, I have to wear this multiple times pa, but for first impressions, I like this. It's giving coverage without that uncomfortable feeling na heavy and 
thick. Very easy to blend by the way. And kahit brush ha, hindi siya streaky. Ang bilis i-maneuver ng formula niya kasi nga ba diba, thin. Tapos sa forehead ko, ano na lang yung natira sa brush since okay naman na ako sa forehead ko. For first impressions, I'm really happy dito sa concealer kasi sobrang bilis gamitin and maganda yung finish niya. Just really have to get a shade na light that way ma-brighten ko yung center ng face. To warm up this pale as face, I'm going to be using this one from Sunny's. Which is yung kanilang multi-stick, I believe. Tama, multi-stick. And yung shade na meron ako is si Palisander. Ganda ng packaging nyo to, in fair. The only downside is that you have to be careful, guys. Especially kapag kaisasara kasi hindi siya na ibababa. 3 grams yung laman niya, guys. And I believe this one, parang more or less 500. Sobrang konti, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, the formula is giving. So, let's try. And same kanina, half lang muna ng face. Ooh, feeling ko it's too warm. Consistency or texture-wise, hindi siya super emollient. Na yan, i-blend natin siya. Not sure if you guys can see, but it looks nice on my skin. Oh, I think mabilis siya mag-set. Yeah, you have to work fast. Magsimula muna kayo sa konti or kaya just pick it up using a brush. Then tsaka nyo i-dab sa skin or sa face. But in fairness, it's easy to blend. Even though hindi siya super emollient kapag ka nirarub sa face. Hindi naman naging patchy yung foundation ko. Hindi niya na-lift. And look at the difference, diba? Dito mas warm, mas bronzy. Just touching with a foundation brush na may natirang foundation. To slightly lighten the other parts. And again, after applying, I suggest na i-blend nyo agad. That way, hindi kayo maka-encounter ng problem. And mas mabilis siyang mag-melt sa skin. Okay naman pala yung kulay niya. Kanina medyo ano ko. Tingin ko parang ang red niya, ang warm. Parang ngayong bine-blend ko siya and nag-melt na sa skin. It's actually really good. Especially siguro kung slightly darker kayo sa akin, this will be a good bronzer color. Mas natural tignan. Sa chin, lagay ako konti. Blended of course. I like this one guys. Maganda yung formula niya. But again, yung downside nga lang is that medyo pricey siya for the amount of product na makukuha nyo. Kaya for this, I highly recommend na mag-visit muna kayo ng Sunny Store. I-test nyo, i-swatch. That way of course, yung texture ng product ma-feel nyo. Medyo nakakairita lang yung component kasi hindi mo pwedeng madalian because for sure, you're gonna stab the product and it will be messy. Kailangan talaga... See? What the fuck? Tumama na naman. You have to be careful. I freaking love this powder and I'm super happy kasi may bago akong shade. Milky white yung unang shade na meron ako which is, again like I've said, medyo masyadong brightening for every day. This is the new shade that I got which is called Cream Puff which I think is perfect for my under eye. Sabi ko na nakaraan, di ba, medyo messy to kapag ka-open lahat ng holes kaya magbubutas lang ako siguro ng tatlo or apat. One, two, and also, can I just say how much I love this powder puff? Kasi ang ganda niya ipang bake and pang set. I'm just gonna start sa isang side. Yup. This is the shade. This is the shade, you guys. It gives just the right amount of brightness. Kaya hindi siya yung parang overwhelming tignan. Kagaya ng Milky White. I mean, Milky White is good. But, again, not every day gusto natin ng super duper, you know, plakadong under eye. Highly, highly recommend this, guys. Sobrang ganda na itong powder na to. And sobrang sulit niya kasi you get 20 grams. This will be your best friend if you have oily skin. Sobrang ganda niya. Feeling ko this one sobrang late ko na. Etude Contour Powder. Palagi ko nakikita before to but never ko sinubukan. Tapos na nakita ko siya online. Bigla ko na lang naisip i-check out. I believe dalawang shade yung meron sila dito but yung shade na kinuha ko is yung number one. Magnetic siya. Look. Let's use this one for bronzing. Marami siya nabipick up and very minimal fallout. Ayan, dadaanan lang natin yun. Nilagyan natin ng cream bronzer. Ang ganda na pagka-bronze. Try natin here. Wala na, naging full glam na. Pero okay lang. I love full glam anyway. Ooh, this is nice. Ang ganda ng kulay. Medyo napadami lang, but mabilis namang mag-ano. Bake. Ooh, mag-bake tayo ng cheekbone kasi na-miss ko yun. Usually, di ba kapag ka-Korean brand, especially for contouring, bronzing, subtle lang yung ganap nila, but this one is actually quite pigmented. Maganda siya, but you have to be light-handed. Ayun nga kasi yung mindset ko, guys. Di ba kapag Korean products, usually very subtle, buildable. For this one, they are not playing, guys. They are not playing. This one, subukan natin pang nose contour. And I'm just gonna do a very, very light contour. Fair, maganda yung kulay niya for nose contour. Look at that. It really mimics the shadow. So if you're looking for something na, you know, subtle and not too grayish, this will be good. For the eyes, I'm using this Roman palette na sobrang ganda. I have been wanting to use this for so long and finally, ito na. Gagamitin ko na siya. Look at that. This is 03 by the way and ang gaganda ng kulay. So, and I'm actually very familiar sa formula ng Romand. May mga nasubukan ako before na palette. 
I have a collection, kaya I know na alam ko yung formula niya. Kaya for this, I know na magugustuhan ko. At yung first color na gagamitin ko. I wanna do something smoky, something glam, sparkly. Ano yan, I'm just putting it sa socket ng aking crease. Lahat nga pala ng brushes ko na ganito yung kulay is from OVW. And of course, as always, ililink ko na lang. Tapos so, yan, paabutin lang natin yung blending sa brow bone. Same color guys, tapos medyo intensify lang natin. But this time, focusing the product sa inner crease. Using this pointy brush, I'm gonna pick up the darkest color. Kaya na ilang ko. Ang gagawin ko is, deposit ko lang siya sa outer corner. This is such a nice shade. Tapos dalhin natin siya hanggang sa half ng lid. And of course, pag nakukulangan kayo, all you have to do is... Mag-add ng color. Blend it of course para mas soft. So, balik tayo sa first brush tapos kunin natin itong light shade na to. Lalagay ko lang siya dito para maging soft. Using a flat brush, the exciting part of course, glitter and shimmer. I'm gonna pick up this shade and then I'm just gonna, oh my god. <laughs> this is so nice. Ayan, I'm just gonna put it sa inner half. Almost like a cut crease but not really. Itatap natin siya para mas diffused. Using my finger, ibablend ko lang yung edge. Look at that. Sobrang dreamy. I love it. At syempre, hindi tayo din matatap. Nakamake ba ako? <laughs> Nakamake pala ako. Kala ko hindi ko nasuot kasi tumayo ako eh. Dito naman tayo sa glitter. Chunky glitter siya kaya I'm gonna use my finger. Mm, this is so cute. And of course... Oh wow. Look at that. This is giving fairy vibes. Ayan, focus lang natin siya sa center. Gusto ko parang doon lang talaga yung specs ng glitter. Tapos kung ano yung natira, yun na lang yung ikalat natin para meron siyang parang fragments. And in fairness ha, even though chunky yung glitter niya, kapag ka dumidilat, it's very comfortable. Kahit kumurap, ayun o. Hindi siya parang matalim or what. And talaga nakastick siya, hindi siya nagmumove. I like it. Balik tayo dito sa shade na to. Just gonna put it sa lower lash line. And then of course, the darkest shade. And for this, outer half ko lang siya ilalagay. I'm gonna add a little bit din here kasi meron siyang parang gap. So, para mawala, ayan, ipack natin ang eyeshadow. Balik tayo dito sa shimmer. Kuha tayo using a synthetic brush. Tapos ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa inner part. Inner half, actually. And also here, isama na natin. For liners, I'm using this one from Kate Tokyo, which is a Japanese brand. And sobrang ganda niya, guys. Kasi smudge-proof and talagang buong araw nagla-last. This one is PK1 and yung brown is BR1. And ayan, look at that. Talagang hindi nagsasmudge. And also, sobrang pinong-pino siya. So, if you want to do that super thin line, perfect. I'm gonna use the brown one and maglalagay lang ako ng konti sa waterline. And also, a little bit here. Ang ganda ng kulay ng liner and yung shape na nagawa ko. Look at that. Kasi diba, sobrang fine nga niya. Kaya, ang bilis niya i-maneuver. To save time off cam ko, natataposin yung eyes. But for lashes, eto yung gagamitin ko. Parang fairy, spiky Japanese lashes. I don't know, feeling ko kasi bagay sa look, so ito gamitin natin. For blush, subukan natin itong bago ng Everblena, which is called Pillow Pop. Sabi dito, cream blush siya, and they have three shades. Yung isa dito mukhang promising, kaya I'm really excited to try. And I think kapag ka nakita niyo yung swatches, malalaman niyo na kung ano yung sinasabi kong shade. Look at that, grabe, sobrang gaganda ng shades. This one is peach, this one is coral, and this one is rose. Oh, this is actually nice. It feels really good. Akala ko emollient siya, pero hindi. This is one of those blushes na kapag ka diniin niyo yung finger, lumulubo. Cream to powder, ganun siya. This one is peach. This one is rose. Too bright for my liking. And this one is coral. Actually, brighter than I thought. At yung shade ni itatest natin, guys. Dream peach. Feeling ko kasi bagay siya sa eye makeup natin. And also, it's the lightest. So, hindi siya magka-clash sa eye makeup. Again, cream to powder. Kaya wala siyang fallout. And yan, itadab lang natin siya sa ating cheekbone. Ang ganda ng shade. Look at that. Usually, I don't wear coral shades. But this one is nice. Kasi hindi siya super orange. Definitely on the muted side. Kaya... Ang ganda. Formula is nice. Again, hindi siya emollient. Kaya hindi nalilift yung foundation. Hindi nagkakrack yung foundation. Very easy to apply. You don't need to swirl it. You don't need to, you know, para ikuskos para mag-show up. Just have to dab it like that. And ayan. Lumalabas na yung kulay. Not sticky at all. Which I love. Ang ganda yung formula in fair. I like this. Look at that, di ba? Ang ganda ng kulay ng blush. And how it looks like sa skin. Definitely a yes for me. Sobrang pretty and ang bilis gamitin. For highlight, we have this one from Spotlight. Which is called Rising Star Highlighter. I have two shades. And let's see which one is best for my skin tone. This one is iconic. And this one is front row. Front row for sure hindi ko magagamit. Because it's too bronzy and dark for my skin. Kaya hindi ko na iso-swatch kasi sayang. But yan guys, para meron kayo idea, this 
this is how it looks like. Iconic looks like this, very champagne, universal, and I think ito yung perfect for me. Very soft. Pinong-pino. Actually, para siyang cream. Doesn't feel powdery or gritty at all. Wala siyang chunks of glitter. Para siyang pearl na dinurog. Ganun yung vibe. And feeling ko blinding, so... Let's see. Using a Real Techniques brush, ipipick up natin siya. And I'm gonna start sa tip ng nose. Yup. This is very glowy. Sa highest point. Oh my god. Look at that. If you love blinding highlight, this will be your best friend. And Spotlight is very affordable, guys. So, for how it looks like, for sure, sobrang sulit. A little goes a long way, by the way. Again, hindi na ako mahilig mag-highlight, but for, you know, reference lang. And since we're trying makeup, here you have it. Super glowy. It melts onto the skin. It looks like liquid. In fairness, maganda siya. Again, if you love glowy and blinding highlight, this will be amazing. These liners from Choo Choo Beauty, you have to try kasi sobrang ganda. They have a total of six shades for this nga pala. Meron silang dalawang peach, dalawang pink, and dalawang browns. This one is Baked Nude, which is my favorite by the way. This one is Teddy Brown. This one is Warm Melon. This one is Coral Talk. Next up is Pink Dream. And Hazy Mauve, which is another favorite of mine. I'm gonna use the shade Baked Nude to line my lips. Actually, even alone, pwede nyo siyang gamitin. Patungan nyo lang ng gloss or kaya ng lip oil. Okay na, maganda na siyang tignan. These ones are from Mersey and ito yung kanilang Nude Veil Lipstick. I have two shades and let's see kung anong shade yung pwede kong gamitin. Look at that, diba? Sobrang pretty and aesthetic. Oh, maganda na shade. This one is in the vase and the other one is Shell Pink. I wanna try Shell Pink just for, you know, why not? Pang center lang, let's see. Oh, actually, nag-match siya sa lip liner. Although, hindi siya nag-match sa eye makeup ko, ha? Ang maganda yung formula niya. Hindi siya yung drying na matte. Actually, no, feeling ko bagay. Love the formula. As you can see, hindi siya yung sobrang opaque, which I love. Kasi perfect siya for everyday. Mas subtle, mas natural. I just have to get shades na mga nudish brown, pinkish brown, ganon. Actually, para ka lang naka-balm na hindi glossy, ganon. This one is from Dior and ito yung kanilang lip oil. Lip, ano ba? Lip Glow Oil. In the shade Rosewood. Hindi ko pa napapakita to, but I'm obsessed, guys. I love it. I mean, hindi siya special, to be honest. Ano yan, nalagay ko lang siya sa center. I just wish this is only 500 pesos kasi guys, 2.5 siya, but I don't know, for some reason, parang feeling ko worth it naman. Sa akin lang ha, but of course, maraming ano, pwedeng pang substitute like yung Easy Lip Oil, yung Choo Choo Beauty Lip Oil, mga ganun. But if you want to splurge, go ahead. Another product na medyo pricey but I love is itong Charlotte Tilbury na Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I use the shade number one. To be honest, at first, akala ko parang ano lang siya. Wala lang, powder lang, but it is amazing. Especially pang under eye. So, let's use this. I mean, just just look at that. Medyo na padami, but look how brightening it is. You can use a brush, of course, but ang dami ko nalagay. <laughs> Sa kabilang side, konti lang. Look at that, diba? Ang ganda niya. Sobrang mattified. Not mattified, actually. Blurred. And perfect yung name niyang Airbrush Flawless Finish. Kasi it looks airbrushed. It looks flawless. Again, na padami. So, I'm just gonna brush it. Look at my under eye, diba? Tsaka forehead. Sobrang smooth. Sobrang flawless. Filter in real life. That is what this is. I don't have any new setting spray or fixing spray, kaya ito na lang radiant finish ng Get Ready With Me yung gamitin natin. Anyway guys, this is the finished look. Medyo madami tayo sinubukan and I'm gonna share with you my top 5. Number 1 foundation kasi sobrang ganda ng finish, ang lightweight, and ang perfect ng itsura sa skin. Get Ready With Me powder, another favorite. Again, this one is Cream Puff. Ang ganda niya pang set, pang bake. Perfect if you have oily skin. Itong squad concealer, I really enjoyed using. I just need to get a lighter shade. But in terms of coverage, feeling, how it looks like, pasadong-pasado for its price. Romand Eyeshadow Palette in 03 is just so perfect. Pwede for soft glam, full glam, simple makeup. This is amazing. Easy to blend, pigmented, and kahit i-layer yung shades, maganda yung kinakalabasan. Hindi siya yung parang muddy. For those of you na mahilig sa mga cream to powder formulas, you will love this. Maganda siya, guys. Ang bilis gamitin. Maganda yung pigmentation. Very buildable. And ang ganda ng shades. Most special itong green peach. Sobrang perfect. Ang ganda ng kulay. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. If you have any video requests, just let me know like yung graduation tutorial or any occasion makeup look mga ganon, sabihin nyo lang sa comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you on my next one!